Hi everyone, it's Joe here from joegifford.co and on this really short cup of Joe today I want to talk about how you can describe what you do in such a way that your clients are completely magnetized to you. So as you guys know, for the last three weeks I've been working with the first rounds of peeps in a group called Brilliance Reloaded and we're getting incredible results in. And right now we've just been tweaking the, you know, the bios and the copy of those folks in the first group. And what's coming up for so many people is that you really need to understand and be super clear on how you work and what makes you brilliant and what makes you unique. And that needs to come across so much in the copy, even in a one-liner bio, right? And if you watch one of my lives from earlier this week, I'm gonna post it down in the link below um, in the comments, but you'll notice we were talking about how what you know how a one-liner bio can really hook in your audience and your clients and it magnetizes them. Because if you think about the most aspirational version of your clients, you know, the most aspirational version of themselves and talk to that they will recognize themselves. But also the other piece of this is being super clear on who you are and how you work, which is what I call your brilliance. Um, you, know, you know, you might know it as your, you know, as your zone of genius, you might know it as your thing, like wh however you want to describe that. So, but that approach is unique to you. And what I've walked everyone through in Brilliance Reloaded is how to pull in their expertise, experience, approach and personality mix those all up and do some creative thinking with it to realize that this lens that they bring to their work and their work in this world that brings the impact is unique to them because it's through that lens of experience, expertise, approach and personality. That's their lens, right? And once you step into that and you realize who you are and what you bring to it, you can start to create language that really resonates with your peeps, even in the shortest of updates, right? Because here's, here's what happens. You need people to not only think you're awesome and you're the person that they need for their thing by reading about you on their web, you know, on your website, on your social media updates, on your copy, on your emails, but you also need to be that person when they work with you. Because, you know, what I see time and time again is that people might write some brilliant copy or hire someone to write the copy for them. It, it doesn't relate to them at all. It's putting on someone else's alter ego of working. So if you have some language that is so unique to you and how you work, um, and it also speaks to the clients that you want to be working with, then you have a great match. For example, um, I was working with um, you know one of the lovely reloaders just now in the group called Rachel. Hi, Rachel Foy, whose amazing work is about you know working with soul fed women, and she knows she knows her clients really well. She knows that the vehicle for women to come to her is is through the control of their weight. She knows that the reason that they're you know, you know not losing weight is way beyond that. She knows how to undo all the other stuff. She knows what they really need is for their souls to be fed, right? Which is her work. But she also knows that her clients are dealing with you know weight issues and control. So we needed to really work with the language because if we just talk about weight in her bio and in her work, it can sound very diet industry led. But Rachel is coming from a really soul led place. So we've had to, you know, we're tweaking her language and coming back with it. And each reiteration we do is getting nearer and nearer a really brilliant, honed down, super punchy, packed version of what Rachel does. And here's the other part of when you work through this process. You need to be able to describe your approach to, to, you know, to it, know what your clients need. And also as you're really trying to refine your copy and refine your message, especially for the first time, if you're coming at it anew, you need to be able to work at it, step away, get some space. Work at it again, step away, get more space. Because you let those ideas you know, arise in your in your amazing brain. You let your beautiful brain come up with ideas in those quiet moments. It's called illumination, that thought, that part of the thinking process, right? So know who your clients are, know how you work.
and those two marry together really, really well. And then you can inject some personality, guys. You know, look at all the magazines you love reading, look at the quirky stuff about you, look at your personality and, and inject some personality into the way you talk, into the way that you, you know, convey your message both online and off, because people will get to know you, and you are the one who is gonna be delivering this amazing and transformative work to them. All right, guys, I'll see you soon on another live. If you found it useful, let me know below, and uh, I'll see you soon.